So today we are going to discuss with a new topic of new product development. As you see, new product development means the uh, every organization has to develop a new product for the uh, for the progress or the sustainability in the market. Causes for the new product failures. These are the various causes that are there for the new product failures. First is the overestimation of the market size. Second is the product design problems. That means if the design of the product is not up to the mark, then that product will be a failure in the market. The overestimation of the market size means that if you are not able to identify the market size, then there, there will be a problem in uh, actually getting how much product you have to make for, the, uh, for your customers. Uh, then the product incorrectly positioned, priced or advertised, Which, whichever product that you are making should be uh, properly designed, should be properly positioned, should be properly priced and advertised so that the people know that um, which product is being coming up in the market. It is very necessary that the, that, that the consumers are being aware about what kind of product and the utility of the product should be there with the customers. The cost of the product development, uh, product dev the, uh, the cost that is, that is being incurred in the um, developing of the product or advertising of the product should be such that you are able to actually um, come up with your profit in the market. Competitive actions, uh, that means it is not only you but also the competitors how uh, they, uh, that are coming up in the market with you, the same what are the uh, substitute of the products in the market. You have to come up with the competitive advantages uh, along with the competitors, ki competitors ki, um, how much competitors are there in the, uh, in the market and what they are doing for their products in the market. To create a successful new product, the company must understand its customers, markets and competitors. It is very necessary that you should know who are the customers for your organization, who are the, what is the market in which you are circulating. The segmentation of the market is very essential part and develop the products that deliver superior value to the customer. It should be in terms of the valuation of the product in comparison with the others, aapke product ki value kya hai for the customers. It is not the cost but the value, how important the product is for the customers. New product development process, these are the steps that are being involved in the new product development. The first, uh, the first is the idea generation and the screening. And this is one of the very important factors that comes Sabse pehli cheez that comes in the mind of the, uh, of the organization that is the idea generation. If at all it comes in the mind of the organization that they have to um, uh, develop a product and that can come with various sources, we have various sources of idea generation and finally you have to screen out according to your own criteria, according to the criteria of the organization, whether financial, whether um, uh, the needs of the customer, whether anything else, but you have to screen on the criteria of the organization. Second is the concept development and testing. That means now you are developing the idea into the concept. You are converting the idea into the concept, where actually how that product will be developed, how that product will, uh, the production process, the advertising process and each and everything is being developed in the concept in the development and the testing of that concept development is being done. Then the marketing strategy, business analysis, product development, test marketing and last step is the commercialization. These are the various steps that are there in the new product development. Then first is the idea uh, generation. Systematic search for new product ideas, you have the internal sources, you have the customers, you have the competitors, the distributors and the suppliers. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sources here from where you get the idea 
from where you can get the idea that how which kind of a product you have to develop more sources it could be the customers because we take the customers feedback it could be the competitors because they are launching the new product you get an idea ki what kind of a product you have to launch you get from the distributors they show their interest that these are the products that they have and this kind of a product that your organization can mm, uh, develop and last is the supplier so these are the various sources from where you can get the internal sources could be your own employees of the organization your employees can tell you that the the, uh, the management the employees and all the other people in the organization can tell you that these are the ideas that can you can get and you collect all of these ideas and finally screen out the ideas now after that is the um, idea screening the process to spot good ideas and drop the poor ones you after uh, the um, idea generation the second step is the idea screening where you screen out according to the your own criteria that is the market size the product size the development time and cost manufacturing cost and the rate of return so these are on the basis of which you can actually um try uh, you can actually see that which idea you have to keep and which idea you have to actually drop out you have to keep the good ideas and you have to drop out the um poor ones now next is the new product development process in this the step third is the concept development and testing where you develop the product into alternative product concepts usko now you change into the uh, concept that now you actually when you have screen out the one that which is the best idea that is there after that you change that idea into the concept now here you will be you will be showing how the pro product is been manufactured then the concept testing test the product concepts with the groups of target customers you have to actually now test whether your uh, concept is a feasible one or not your product is feasible enough in the market so for that you have to do that concept testing and after then after that choose the best one now after that is the marketing strategy and development that is a uh, way you have to overall develop the marketing strategies for the for your product the first is the target market the planned product positioning the sales profit goals the market share you have to uh, find out the market uh, strategy statement formulation second short term that is the product plan price distribution marketing budget and then the sales profit goals marketing mix strategies so these are the various strategies that you have to develop for your product and it is very important to develop these um, uh, these strategies before going on to launch the product it is really important that you have to develop these strategies because you have to identify the target market you have to identify the sales profit goals hmm. you have to identify the distribution channel the marketing budget you have to identify the marketing mix strategies uh, where you will be positioning your your product where you will be uh, actually distributing it where you what is the price of the product all these strategies have to be developed next is the business analysis and the product development after the dev after the testing of the product or the strategies the business analysis is very necessary because you have to identify your own business your own organization here you are identifying the review of the product sales cost and profit projections to see if they meet the company's objectives if no eliminate the product concept and if yes move to the product development now actual development of the product starts from here abhi tak whatever we are talking about was only on the paper only on the uh, the production actual production of the product has not yet been started but after this the actual production of the product starts and after that uh, the uh, last uh, after this the step 7 is the test marketing test marketing where you are now testing your product 
Yeah, that means a standard uh, test market that is a full marketing campaign, small numbers of representative cities or a control test market that is few stores that have agreed to carry new product or a piece. Mm, uh, stimulated test market test in the mm, shopping environment to sample of the consumers. It depends upon what kind of a product you have, what are the pricing that you are introducing, kya karte ho, so that all depends upon what kind of test marketing you are doing. Here uh, what we do is we actually test the product in the market in the current scenario, whether that product will be accepted by the customers or not. After this testing is being done, the last is the commercialization where you are not now actually launching your product in the market. That commercialization involves with all the four P's of the marketing mix. That is the product, price, place, promotion. The actual distribution of the product um, is there in the commercialization. The last step that we do is commercialization where you are actually launching your product so that it comes up to be the best product in the market. Thank you.